Virtual classrooms are used to create a sense of place and instructor presence for online classes. This example is my online teaching space, which allows students to imagine me at home with my laptop, a mug of coffee, and a comfy chair. The idea is to create some visual interest and humanize the instructor. This is all done on a Google Slide, and I recorded in Slides Present Mode as you may have noticed with the floating toolbar. I added a backdrop, interior elements, and several hyperlinks. The Twitter icon, for example, leads to my online posts. The 123 banner could be used to link to lesson content. I've linked the hand weights to an article about free weight exercises. The weights I would consider an Easter egg, something hidden in the scene that's fun to discover. And of course, there's my Bitmoji avatar. Bitmoji is an app that people use to create a likeness of themselves. As a Chrome extension, it can be used within Gmail and Google Slides. They can be literal or idealized, and some of them can bear a pretty good resemblance to their creator. To get started, you'll need to add the Bitmoji app to your iPhone or Android smartphone. The app is free, and it walks you through the steps of selecting physical features, wardrobe, etc. Everything you need to customize your digital look. Once you've opened your account and created your Bitmoji, you'll want to access it from the Chrome browser. Go to More Tools and Extensions. Here I have Bitmoji installed. To add it to Chrome, click Extensions and drop down to Open Chrome Web Store. Type in Bitmoji. Once installed, Bitmoji will appear in your Extensions bar. And when you're signed in, it'll populate with your custom avatar. And your Bitmoji is ready to be added to your virtual classroom. I started with this set of classroom examples that were offered on a teaching share site, and I'm using some of the furnishings. I did a Google image search for the blue room I decided to use. Basic room templates can be found using the search terms wall and floor. Next, click the tools option and usage rights and select Creative Commons options. These are free to use. This time, I'm adding the white room to the template slide set so I can easily pull furnishings out of the other slides as needed. And when I'm done, I make a copy of the new slide. I like this potted plant. When I can't find the item I want, I go back to Google Images and take a look. This lamp, for example, when searching, I add a transparent background, which allows me to neatly drop it into my classroom scene. If you find must-have items without a transparent background, you can use Snagit to remove the background. This image had a white background, and I used the eyedropper tool to change the fill. I've been rearranging the room a bit, and this plant would look a little more natural if I click Arrange, Order, Bring to Front. Now to the Bitmoji extension. I type in the word Pose to bring up various full body poses without any text. Find one you like and drag and drop to the slide. Notice this figure is oriented to the right. To change that, I go back to Arrange, Rotate, and flip horizontally. If I want to hyperlink an item, I click onto it and select Insert Link. Once I have everything I need, all of the slides and links, I go to File, Make a Copy, Selected Slides. I name the slide and go to File, Download, and select PDF. And now I have a PDF to upload to my LaLima course. So get creative, make a Bitmoji that makes you smile, and share that experience with your students.